This video is going to show you how to evaluate your uh, nipple cups on a Ford 6.0 liter um, diesel engine oil rail. Um, I'm going to show you how to check the state of your uh, your nipple cup and whether it needs to be polished and show you how to polish them up if needed. Um, so the first thing you want to look at is, uh, I like to look at them before I actually take them out of the of the oil rail and uh, I got this one at a junkyard and uh, it was in pretty bad shape. In fact it was so bad that they actually put um, ultra black on there to try to get it to seal. Uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, that's not the recommended way to do it. Uh, I doubt that lasted very long and they probably ended up uh, buying new a new oil rail and uh, I'm going to show you how to get away with uh, just fixing your old oil rail with very little work. So I already took, I already cleaned uh, these other three off pretty good. I just left that one on there so you could see just how bad it was. Eh, pretty bad. It's got all kinds of crap down in there. Uh, and this is a fine specimen to show you guys what to do here. Um, I like to clean the, the nipple part itself while the nipples are still in place. So we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and pick this uh, this bad one here. And what you're going to need is a, a Dremel tool. Uh, you could also do it with a, a bench a bench grinder with uh, spin mandrels. You just spin these onto a little mandrel on the end of the bench grinder. Um, but the Dremel tool actually works really well for this. You're going to need a, a polishing pad and a, a screw arbor to hold it. You just screw on. Probably that uh, that one you've been looking at and not sure what it went to. Just looks like the, a screw on a post there. Um, and I like to use these uh, these cloth cloth pads. Um, it's like a you know the usually the yellow ones that are multi layered cloth are for hard cutting, um, but they work pretty well for all stages of this. Um, you might actually have. See, that's the kind I use. You might actually have in your Dremel tool kit already these felt ones. Um, you could probably get by using felt one just fine. Um, you can also get a, a twist and lock uh, felt pad made of muslin. Um, usually the muslin pads are uh, for like your final ruse polish. Um, but use what you got. It doesn't take a really fine polish for this. Um, if, if all you've got is the felt wheel and some... Uh, some uh, triple ear rouge that came with your Dremel tool, you could probably get by just fine. Um, second thing you're going to need is uh, some polishing compound. Um, what I've got here is three stages. This is a hard cutting compound. This is your standard triple E. Comes in a big, big red brick. And then this is your rouge. Rouge will come in like a white, red, or green. And that's just your final brightening phase. Uh, so you got cutting, uh, midway polish, and then you got your your uh, shine polish. Uh, so it's kind of like three really high grades of sandpaper that you're using there. Uh, so you're going to take your, uh, your Dremel tool with your, uh, your cloth polishing wheel on there. And uh, I'm doing this one handed for the video so I can get close up. So uh, I would recommend using two hands. I'm just going to take it and get it down in there. And it kind of melts, uh, melts the wax the polishing compound and gets it on there. And you're just going to come over to your uh, surface there. Just kind of just let the, let the tool go around by itself. And whenever you need to, just stick it back on there. Oh, no. uh, normally I'd be holding my my other hand over there to help steady it. Uh, I obviously can't do that for the video here. This is your, your rough polish. I got off all that ultra black. And this is going to be the cutting stage. Any kind of grooves that are in there should get removed with this stage. Okay, 
to see some resting there. Some of that's the ultra black still on there. Yeah, it's actually rusting, rusting and pitting. Um, so because that's not on, actually on the ceiling surface, um, it's not a big deal, but this is a worst case scenario right there. Um, that's about as bad as you're ever gonna see. Um, but you can see the actual ceiling surface, it's up here towards the top of the nipple, it's uh, polishing right up. And uh, with a little bit of work, we can even get that stuff done too. Um, This takes uh, a lot more work to get out a, a deep, uh, deep thing like that. See how it's coming out there? I doubt any of you are going to find anything anything that bad. Um, that's uh, about as bad as it gets. And uh, normally it's just a quick polish, but that just goes to show that even a really bad nipple cup uh, can be fixed up. As long as you don't have any vertical scratches up and down like this or deep nicks in this part of the, the nipple itself, you're fine. So we'll go ahead and give that once. Once over on the actual uh, ceiling surface. Then we're going to go to our next phase, which is our Tripoli. And that's just like a, a slightly finer grit sandpaper on it. I'm not going to get those top gouges all the way out for this video. You want this stage to be just as, uh, just as extensive as your first stage, because it's like, you know, you're getting out the, the larger cut marks and grooves from the first stage. You want to go just as much with this stage as you did with the other one. Final stage is going to bring out the shine. This is the dazzle phase right here. This is when you see that mirror finish that you're looking for. If all you have is triply, I would go ahead and just use the triply. It doesn't have to be an exact mirror finish on this. You just want to get out any uh, any uneven surfaces. You're looking to make a nice smooth ceiling surface, not uh, be able to see your reflection in it. This is where it starts to shine right here. All right, so now we've taken a probably a worst case scenario nipple cup and uh, made it into a good ceiling surface. I'd feel uh, comfortable putting that in an engine. You know, if I were not making a video, I'd go ahead and clean up the top just for looks. But um, even that, you know, as long as your ceiling surface down there is good, you're good. Um, so I usually do the nipple part first, and then I'll come back and uh, do the rest of the nipple. Check out my other video on actually using the tool and, and uh, replacing the seals themselves. Once you've done the nipple, you're going to want to evaluate um, the space right below the ball, right right below the medium, middle point of the ball there um, is where the actual nipple cup seal sits. 
And if you got any kind of grooving there at all, um, go ahead and give it a quick polish also. Um, you're already polishing the nipples, you know. It's a, might as well polish the other one too. For that, you need two hands. I'll go ahead and set this in my tripod here. Yeah, for this stage, I would recommend uh, taking your nipple cup and find a, a screwdriver, a pencil, anything that you can stick down in there to help hold it. Um, you don't want it to go flying and lose it. Then take your Dremel tool, get in your cutting compound, and you can uh, kind of let the, the Dremel tool kind of rotate the, the nipple cup. Like so, we'll go to our Tripoli medium stage. And that one. And then we'll go to our uh, Rouge. And there we have it. And you could definitely feel comfortable uh, putting that back in, getting a good seal. And uh, you're not actually taking off a whole lot of material, even with the hard cutting phase. Um, you saw how much, uh, how bad that first one I was working on was. Um, on the very tip there, I did take you know a decent amount of material off, but. For any any kind of uh, grooves going around the perimeter of it, um, you can take those out without uh, making it too small.